Hello everyone, my name is VJ and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In the series of the CK questions and answers, today I will be walking you through a next question which is around Gateway API migration. So let's get started. I will read you the question for you. In this question, we are migrating the in existing Ingress configuration to new Kubernetes Gateway API. For that, there's two things to need to be done. First, create a gateway resource name, web gateway with the host name gateway.web.k8s local. That maintain the existing TLS and listeners, so this is important. And the second task you have to do is the create a HTTP route, resource name, web route with the host name um, gateway web k8s local that maintains the existing routing rules from the current ingress. And you should know there's already existing gateway class name, and Nginx class is already installed. So this is a few things you have to understand. Now you know that I have already got um, the repo for you to copy and prepare your uh, lab. Um, so it's much easier for you. So what we're gonna do is copy this repo here and come here and I will say git clone, copy the repo. It has been wrapped. Now we get into the folder. CD CK. You will see this question 11 is about Gateway API. So, what we have to do is to run this script. So, bash scripts slash run question dot sh and question name. Uh oh. So, and question name is question 11 the gateway I will come down here paste it and I will run this um, all right wrong command so just careful with this as well so scripts Now it's going to install the uh, the prerequisite to complete the scenario. So if you look at this, you see this is the resources has been created. Um, we, we just get it started now. So I will clear this. Um, first thing I need to find out is that what is the resources available. So two things we need to figure out is kubectl describe um, ingress. So this is one of the things and other thing you have to find out is describe secret. So this is the two things that will be required because we need a host name from here. We need a path, which is this. We need a web service and which is a port number. So these are the main things. Other thing is this secrets, which is um, web TLS. So we're going to open a new tab. And if you remember the question, uh, the question asks for two things. Um, one is create a gateway resource uh, with the web gateway name. So let's start it with this. So I will go to Kubernetes documentation and I will say gateway. You open the first link here. And the first link, you will see um, the examples for the manifest. I'll copy this one. So remember under the gateway, just copy this and I will give any name to this uh, manifest dot yaml and the paste the code we just copied um, the things we have to change is one of the things has been asked to put the name as a web gateway so web gateway and the gateway class name is already mentioned which is engineers class Um, listener's name is HTTPS and protocol is used as HTTPS and this is um, 443 is a secure TLS um, I will enter and I will have to write host name and you know where to get it from so we just got here host name and I'm gonna copy this and sorry copy this and next thing you have to uh, have to do is TLS. So, so TLS, 
colon and here we have to do is mode so mode is terminate and um, you have to use certificate reference and for that you have to use two values kind which is secret so remember the s is capital and name of the secret is web tls and if you do not remember we got it here so tls and this is under the secret right so we go back and what i'm going to do is come out of this and i will say keep ctl apply minus f gw.yml and it has been created if you want you can also verify if it has been created or not just um gate uh, gateway and you will see this has been created and now second file we have to create is um a http route so i'll go back to this documentation and if you come down here you will see this is http route i'm gonna copy this manifest and go to the playground and i will say i will write um, vi and it's http route so i just say route dot yaml and i'm gonna paste this the requirements is again um we have to have web route as a name so delete this web route and name of the parents reference as you know we just created the gateway so it's a web gateway the host name we also know the host name and i know you can answer me now so host name is here uh -oh. copy this no extra space and just paste it um everything is looks fine path has to be the as it is um we're not changing anything in the path um so just remove the login if there's login by the way uh and other thing you have to change is name of the service and if you're wondering where we're getting this from i can show you web service and that port number is 8080 so if you look into this one um what would you see is um this service name which is a web service and this is the port number right so we're gonna come out and this is the small changes we have to do and kubectl apply minus f route dot yaml and it has been created now only thing we have to do now is to verify it to verify it we're gonna get kubectl and uh, describe gateway web gateway so as you can see um the, the host name is there um you know sdps 443 um and now you can also check the secrets and tls and this is the mode terminate now we also going to do is check um the http route so we say give ctl describe um http route and the name of this is web route and if you enter it you can see the service service name web service you can see uh, the group and you know the which is referring to the our uh, gateway and that's all you need to do and um, you know that's all if you have any question please ask me any question if you like my video please subscribe it because it really takes a lot of efforts and i will really appreciate that and it will motivate me to do more uh, videos such as so, like this one so thank you so much all the best and i'll take care